Mr. Toad. Do something, Bigby, before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid c <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. He's dumb. <gasps> You're gonna tell me right now what Dad! I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and the... they're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad. Bad, but I didn't do it. Alright, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named... Fuck it, man! This fucking lab dog. He comes sniffing around this part of town. Rich fucks in the woods need a shit. <laughs> now right, Bigby. <laughs> now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right, we've had it worse. By much. Making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm feeling pretty fucking pissed off right now. If I'm honest, I'd like to smash everything in this room. Is that a threat? Depends on how much you like the furniture. I didn't think that was funny, in case you were waiting for me to laugh. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. Well, I'd appreciate if you'd fuck off. Big B. I've been interviewing people all night. And it's probably not the first time you've heard it today. Maybe you should take a hint. You're a detective, right? Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... I'm trying to help you, Bigby. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? 
Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No, didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. missed a spot. You, uh, you just smeared it across your face. You got a tissue or something? Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I just said that. Is there something... She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive. But it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours. And everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. Thanks for bailing me out. Certainly. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. And, Big B, we have to tread carefully here. We can't implicate an innocent man. And people are already worried about your conduct. He's working for somebody. And whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... 
I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Bigby. Yeah. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? It's been better, but we're not here to talk about me. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. Back in the alley, you mentioned your employer. Who is it? Who are you working for? <laughs> Why? You looking to change your occupation? You'd be good at it, I think. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Come on. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. I don't want to see that. Snow was murdered, D. She was... important to me. If you know who did this, you have to tell me. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who did it. <laughs> 